In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, an adult Easter egg hunt. When most people think about Easter egg hunts, they think of little toddlers or like elementary school kids running around the park finding Easter eggs and getting their quarters or pennies out of them. And growing up, there's no different for us. We would run to our backyard, we'd go to our grandma and grandpa's house, or aunt and uncle's house, and we would find Easter eggs and get about 74 cents in the end. The difference in my family is that we haven't stopped looking for eggs and we also haven't produced any new offspring. So the age in which we're looking for eggs just keeps going up. My Uncle Dennis is the main reason why this Easter egg hunt continues. One year he decided, okay, you guys are too old for this, we're gonna stop, and we threw a riot. Um, and by riot, I mean we like said, no, please don't make us stop. So he gave in, but there was a catch. He decided he was gonna make the most difficult Easter egg hunt of all time. Now in his backyard, I would say he's got about maybe two, three acres of land, maybe more. And he would say the eggs are anywhere out there, ready, set, go. You have 15 minutes to find them. Most people just throw them on the ground or like tape them to a tree. He buries them. That's not an exaggeration. He'll take the egg. If it's a pink egg, he'll color the top brown so he's technically not burying it and stick it into the dirt so it just looks like dirt. It's impossible to find. He'll take the drainage pipes, he'll undo the drainage pipes, stick an egg inside the drainage pipe, and then put the drainage pipe back. So the only way to get to this egg is to disassemble the drainage pipe. And if there's not an egg in there, you just look like an idiot. He'll find a way to like tape eggs underneath the grill and half the time the grill's on and then we're not trying to touch that. There's been times where his backyard is flooded, doesn't stop him, he'll toss the eggs in the water. There was even one year where he somehow got underneath a sewer grate and was able to tape the egg underneath the sewer grate. Now even as a 20 something year old man, I'm not trying to lift up a sewer grate to get to an egg with nothing on the inside. He's gotten to the point where he'll hide an egg or two in plain sight and we'll run up to that egg thinking that might be the only one we find. And once we grab it and open it, there's a note on the inside saying, psych, life's not that easy, this one doesn't count. Just tears you apart on Easter. Now even though these egg hunts are legendarily difficult, it hasn't stopped our family from continuing the tradition and the frustration. So that's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.